Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you and tell you how to use a Logitech keyboard. This will be a full tutorial for absolute beginners, so let's get right into this instructional video. So as you can see right here, I have a Logitech keyboard and I'm going to show you and tell you how to use something like this. Let's get a little bit of a broader perspective over here and sort of move back a little bit. So essentially, the first thing that you want to know or that you should know how to do is how to connect it. Now if it's a wireless keyboard like this, you basically are going to usually have two options for connecting it. You're going to have a USB receiver like this and you just plug it into the USB port on your computer and it should locate the driver for the keyboard and then it, the keyboard should work relatively shortly. Or you're going to have a Bluetooth connectivity option, okay? And you're going to, and for the Bluetooth connectivity option, you're going to look for a Bluetooth button on the keyboard and you're going to press and hold that button down for about five seconds and it should try to connect to one of the nearby devices if it's Bluetooth enabled with regards to the device that it's connecting to. Uh, in this case, there are three different Bluetooth um, um, buttons over here because it can connect to three different devices and you can switch between the devices by pressing the button. So I would press and hold down, you know, button number one and that would then search for a Bluetooth device to connect to with regards to associating it with a number, a device number one on the keyboard, okay? Um, and if it's a wired keyboard, then obviously you just take the wire and you plug it in. It's most likely going to be a USB cord, okay, um, to plug into your computer, okay? So that's how to connect it. <clears throat> now, with regards to using it, once you have connected it and it's that you've downloaded the driver and it's working, basically you're just going to type and that's how you use the keyboard. So you're going to go ahead and you're going to type the letters and as you type the letters, they're going to appear on the screen and that's how you use the keyboard. There are obviously different letters. If you have letters here, you have numbers. If you, you probably know this, but I'm going to say it anyways. If you want to get to like something that is above it, right? You know, you would like hold like shift and then you would press the, that to get to the, the character above it. So if I wanted to push the end symbol, I would press, I would press shift and seven and that would give me the end symbol if you want to do a capital you would hold shift and then you press the letter and it would do a capital letter you also have some buttons over here obviously and then you might have a number pad over here and if your number pad isn't working make sure you've tapped the number lock button okay because if your number lock is off then your number pad is not going to work if your num lock is on your number pad will work okay so that's how to connect it how to use it you might also have some media buttons on the top um, like I said this only has the Bluetooth buttons but you might have some media buttons on the top or some specialty buttons. So you go, oh, actually, you know what? This does actually have the media buttons, as you can see here. Um, they're associated with the F buttons at the top. In addition, if you have a wireless keyboard and it runs out of batteries, you flip it upside down and you open up uh, the compartment and you can switch the batteries on the wireless keyboard and then get it working again. Um, also, you can prop it up more than likely. So you can see right here, it shows actually four degrees and eight degrees. So I can extend both of them out and that will be an eight degree prop or I can just extend one of them out and that will be a four degree prop, okay? And basically, and obviously that goes with both sides. Uh, basically, that's essentially it with regards to how to use your Logitech keyboard. Um, I just wanted to keep the tutorial short and sweet and give you the basics of using something like this. And hopefully you enjoyed it. I kept it, you know, really quick. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you liked the video tutorial, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.